Hello, Mel Jeffcoat here from uh, Industrial Alchemy, and I'm back at it, working on that, replacing those foundation blocks. So I'm going to turn the camera around and you can see where we're starting. As you'll remember from the previous video, yesterday the concrete blew out a block that in hindsight was cracked. So I don't know, perhaps if I had, had only filled it partway with concrete yesterday and then left it the rest of it for today, maybe it would have, would have stayed. Or maybe it would have broken anyway and then I would have been left with half a thing of concrete and been worse off. Who knows? But today, first order of business, you can see the uh, concrete has cured, got a nice surface to work on. I'm going to cut off that rebar first off and then remove the rest of this broken block and then put a new one in. And once that's all done then I can resume pouring the concrete down that corner. So back to it. Hello again. As you can see we've got that glass block into place here. And as a side note, if you hear all of that crashing and banging in the background, that is a house just one street over that's being torn down. Um, I uh, mentioned that in my podcast last night. If you don't know, I do have a podcast. I'm, right now I'm doing a 30-day challenge where I'm posting something every day. Um, after this month is up, it'll probably be a slightly more sane schedule. But for now, podcast every day. You can see the link in the description. Uh, so you can see the uh, original blocks were not quite plumb here. But it doesn't really matter because next to this side here, uh, up underneath the addition, there's going to be another block wall. So that's not even going to be visible once that's in place. So this is ready to go. I'm going to let it set up a little bit before I uh, start pouring concrete down into there again. So time for a lunch break. Hello again. I'm up inside the house now. I've just finished filling this corner with concrete. This is the corner that I've been working on. and. That uh, bit of metal that's sticking up there is called a Simpson's Strong Tie. Um, here is one that is not in the wall. And it's got that hook at the end to be embedded in the concrete. And you drill a hole in your sill when you put that over it. and this open, the, uh, the two ends come apart and you fold them down over the wood and, and screw them down and that attaches the sill to the foundation. Uh, this one is the first one. For the rest I'm going to have to drill, well cut actually, holes in the tops of, of these blocks uh, to put several more in along this uh, 10 foot or so length that I'm replacing. So the original sill was not attached to the foundation but this section will be because it's required. And you can see this is where the water damage in the kitchen. Uh, I pried up most of these floorboards, but they were not safe. But I pried them up so that I could get access to where I was working here. And you can see the rot at the end of these floor joists here, especially this one right next to the sink drain. Um, but don't worry, they are supported. I know I showed this in the demolition video, but there's another view, maybe. Down in the basement, I've got a beam across these uh, 
floor joists to support them and jacks under the beam. So that's all good. The floor won't collapse. At least that's the theory anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's going to be the end of today's work. Uh, I'm going to clean up, maybe do a few small things that don't take too much energy because it's a lot of concrete and mortar to be moving around and I'm not used to it anymore. Speaking of the concrete, that's all that I had left. So I'd say that I, uh, I measured that pretty well, estimated it. That's always what you want. You don't want to come up short, but you also don't want too much, too many, too much leftovers, because then that's just waste. So that's probably it for today. Until the next video, this is Mel Jeffco, Industrial Alchemy. As a quick addendum, there is the house, one street over, that is getting uh, demolished. I can, I realized that I would be able to get a decent view of it from the penny house. So here we are. It's sad. Wish somebody could have put some effort into that one before it got so bad.